This is Freighty, which is a 62 foot cruiser stern narrowboat. It was launched in 1996 and built by the highly regarded builders R.W. Davison's son at Saul Junction on the Gloucester and Sharpness Canal. It's the last cruiser stern narrowboat they built because they are probably better known for their distinctive tug style Northwich trader narrowboats, but it's a very rugged sound construction this boat you can just see that by looking at it um, starting at the front you have this well deck the gas locker is built in here under this bench and then you have two lockers which also double as side benches before you drop down into the main cabin it starts with a large saloon area you can see there's a pleasing solid wood floor that uh, extends throughout the entire boat You've got a multi-fuel stove in the corner there, it's a Stovax Brunel unit. 4 kilowatt, very decent size on an narrowboat. A lot of cupboards and an open plan galley beyond that. Built in, rather than R.W. Davis feature, is a dresser. And on the opposite side you have... <coughs> An L-shaped cooking area and a set of side doors that you've just seen. Um, here you've got gas cooking, a Belfast sink under slung and a 12 volt fridge built in. And then the centre cabin acts as a permanent double berth. Small wardrobe here at the beginning of the corridor. Apologies for not being able to see too much, it's a bit dark in there. And then on down the corridor and off to your left is the bathroom area. So pump out WC, basin built into a cupboard unit. There's a radiator there. That's one of four in the boat, all run by a Wabasto diesel central heating boiler. And here is the shower. It's in a vinyl lined cubicle with shelves built in next to it. Finally, you have this aft cabin. And as you can see, a built-in washer-dryer as well. Uh, this will make a second guest double berth. It's a very nice separate area for working in or doing something else from whoever might be sitting up the other end in the saloon if you fancy your own separate space for a while. That's a Victron charger unit. In the cover below that, there's a 3 kilowatt Victron inverter as well. And then out onto the stern... You have a bench seat at the back, makes it nice and comfy for steering. And you can see on the tiller here, there is a, it's been adapted to accommodate an Adnams uh, beer tap, you know, straight off the front of a bar as well. Nice little touch. Uh, this is the view from the helmsman's position. You can see there are solar panels installed too. Um, that's Freighty. For a full colour brochure, a photo gallery and a layout plan, do go to rugbyboats.co.uk. UK.